2024 is here and COD Mobile got a ton of brand new settings. And we need to talk about these new settings because they can improve your gameplay and make you a way better player. Like after changing some of the settings in this video, you'll notice that you're playing way better than before. So grab your snacks because we're about to go over some of the most important settings in the game. The first setting will save your life in a lot of situations and it's called the left-handed tactical. This setting can be found in the first section of the basic tab and you want to make sure to have it turned on because this allows you to use tacticals while holding your gun even when you're walking or running, which is really useful in both search and destroy and respawns because because this is the fastest way to use tacticals. And on top of that, you don't have to risk putting your gun away, so that's another good thing about this setting. The next setting will improve your aim in COD Mobile. So COD Mobile recently added the kick scale setting to the game, and it's actually kind of a bad thing. Basically, when you increase the value of the kick scale, your gun is gonna start to shake when you're firing, which can block your view and make your aim bad. That's why you should always keep the value of the setting to zero to have a better view of what's happening on the screen. After changing the setting, you'll notice that your aim got significantly better than before, especially on SMGs. So if you wanna have a better aim, then make sure to keep the kick scale values to zero. Moving on to the next setting, this one is really useful for ranked matches. Now, talking with your teammates is one of the most important things in COD Mobile, and the most common way to do it is by using the chat wheel. Normally, there's only four slots on this wheel, which honestly is not enough to properly talk with your team. Like, imagine you're in a match of search and destroy, and you only got four options to talk with your team. Now, to add more slots to your wheel, go to the quick message tab and use the eight slot wheel. This will add four more slots to your wheel, which should give you plenty of messages to work with. And you can even customize the types of messages you want on your wheel, which is really cool. Honestly, I don't see any reasons to not use this setting. Now, the next one is not a setting, but it can massively improve your gameplay. There's an app called Gear Up Booster that can improve your ping in COD Mobile. I use this app every time I play, and I have to say it reduces the ping by a very good amount. And I know a lot of you also struggle with bad internet when you're playing COD Mobile, and this app can help you fix that. Obviously, having a low ping in COD Mobile is very important, so if you want to try this app, then make sure to click the link in the description. Now, the next setting will help you spot your enemies. When it comes to spotting enemies, the minimap plays an extremely important role. So we need to optimize the minimap because it's one of the most powerful tools in the game and that's why you should go to the minimap setting and reduce the map zoom to 50. Doing this will allow you to see the location of the enemies that are far away so you can easily spot campers and get a better idea of where your enemies are. So make sure to change this setting because it can improve your gameplay. Moving on to the next setting, this one is really useful for phone players. Now obviously phones have smaller screens than iPads and because of that, the chances of you making mistakes on a phone is higher. Especially if you're using multiple fingers on your HUD, there could be times when you press the wrong area of the screen. To fix that, there's a new setting in the game called Mist Touch prevention mode. This setting will ignore all your accidental touches, which is exactly what we want. Obviously, accidental touches will ruin your gameplay and give you a bad time. So if you want to avoid accidental touches, then make sure to turn on the setting. Setting number seven is also pretty important and it's called the prospective teammate. This setting can be found on the basic tab and you 100% need to turn on the setting. Basically, with the help of this setting, you can see your teammates through the wall and having the ability to see your teammates can give you a better sense of what's happening on the map so you can know where you need to go. And every esports player uses this setting, so you should definitely use it as well. And if you want to learn about some more pro settings in COD Mobile, then make sure to click on this video. I talked about some even more detailed settings on that video, so I highly recommend you to watch it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video.